Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to make a quick video, uh, kind of giving an update on some of the preseason stuff that you're going to see over the next couple weeks, entering the LA Clash, entering the Daytona 500, things of that nature. So one being is I've been recording stuff throughout this week that I'll probably start uploading or at least making public every other day, kind of leading up into the Clash and into Daytona, more so talking about and mainly remaking a lot of my previous like preseason content that I've done in the past, you know, generally with like the experience that I have now and more so trying to introduce it to a newer audience. Cause like, look, I understand I have, I have a pretty big following, uh, in this space. And a lot of those people will continue to watch my stuff. A lot of people will resubscribe, um, to the net, to the new NASCAR package, which I'll talk about in a second. But I understand that I'm being introduced to a lot of people who don't know who I am, who have never played NASCAR DFS before, who don't know anything about racing and things of that nature. So I do kind of want to make that for those people and certainly talk about it in a different light. Uh, like, I'm very different than other people in this industry. And this is not a sale of like, buy my stuff over there. I'm just saying, I just approach things differently. Like, I just assume, I'm going to assume that you know how to like read a spreadsheet and you understand like fundamentals of DFS. <laughs> like you understand like point for dollar plays and stuff like that. So I'm not going to focus on like that aspect of NASCAR DFS. Like that's the kind of the same stuff across the board, no matter what sport you're playing. I'd like to really dive into what makes NASCAR DFS the most volatile sport, in my opinion, you know, what makes it so drastically different, why projections can be taken advantage of or be incorrect or be overweighted toward to a certain degree, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of ins and outs that I see this industry doing that I haven't done. And I've been getting more and more away from certain things. And so we'll discuss that. We'll discuss specifically like why I view certain data over different data more. And I'll give examples and stuff like that. Um, so you'll see videos coming out over the next you know week and a half. Because uh, I think we're like 17 days away from the clash. But then we'll still have some leading up before the, uh, the 500 and stuff like that. And really a major thing is once you get into like the week by week racing stuff, you know, you're very much caught up on looking at the previous race that just happened on Sunday and you're getting ready for the new race that's going to happen on Sunday uh, of the upcoming Sunday. And that just for the cup series, you know, I cover all three series. So I got to do that for Xfinity. I got to do that for the truck series. I got to do that for everything going on. And so typically a lot of preseason videos that I make will either be explaining what I'm doing during those weeks or during that time or looking at races ahead, kind of like the previous Atlanta video that I posted last week. I have a part two to that that I'll probably post the week of Atlanta, but like there's a part two of that. There's multiple, multiple things you can just dive into. Like you can get deep in the weeds. You cannot get deep in the weeds, whatever the case may be. Um, two, the NASCAR package. So we have heard, listened, and adjusted to all the feedback and comments that we've gotten and that I've received uh, relating to this. So there will be a NASCAR package on TrueDFS. That'll be 30 bucks. That should go live around the 24th, 25th on the site because um, the clash doesn't start till the 4th. There's no reason to have that stuff up before. Um, but that'll be... 30 bucks a month, you'll get my projections. Uh, and realistically, there's you get a lot more, but in terms of guaranteed stuff, it, it's my projections. What you get in addition to that, that we can't just say it's going to be there for every time, because look, Sheets has a life, he, he, he has a lot of things going on. But typically, because you got to remember that the season is like 96 slates, okay? Sheets is probably going to play like 92 of those slates, okay? So for the most part, you're going to have two projection sets for each race. If you've been with me for a long time, then you know that I pull all the data from NASCAR that's available. I pull practice data. I pull post-race data. I pull pit data. I go through, I spend hours a week looking through that stuff in terms of practice stuff. As soon as practice is over, I upload that Excel file into the Discord for you guys to look at it, okay? Like you get all the laps they run in practice, okay? And then I, I look at all that other data and stuff as well. Now, I'm not going to like promise to give you that stuff every time because look, to be frank, a lot of people don't use it when you give them access to it. But like I'm doing that, like looking at NASCAR DFS stuff is like a 40 hour work week in and of itself. Um, so kind of just answering that really fast. If you've been with me, then you know exactly what you're getting uh, for the package on top of what Sheets does. If you aren't, well, then I, I encourage you to uh, try it out and stuff like that. Plus, you get my preview videos. You get the live shows and things of that nature. Uh, I think you're going to like it, but that's just addressing the do you have a fantasy NASCAR package. And uh, thirdly, in terms of, like, approach and stuff, in terms of the preseason content, um, like some of the things I, I want to touch on specifically 
And this is the main reason why I'm making this video right now. This isn't a buy my stuff over their stuff as much as it as much as it sounds like. But look, frankly, just speaking flat out, a lot of people are leaving the NASCAR DFS space. We've had a lot of people retire. We've had a lot of people leave. We have Jason from Free NASCAR DFS. He's retiring, no longer doing stuff. You know, we have the garage guys. They're no longer making content. A lot of different people have either disappeared over the years. They don't come back. You know, we're seeing layoffs in the DFS industry in different places. Some people are getting fired or removed from their positions and stuff. And so, like, realistically, bro, there's like six places you get content now from NASCAR, okay? Uh... I've been around for over, over five years. People know what they're getting, you know? You don't get that from everybody. Uh, just, guys, don't tell Stevie he's, like, one of six guys left because he'll charge, like, four grand a year for this stuff at, a, at RG. But realistically, like, I want to get my stuff out there. I want you guys to know, like, what you're getting in the preseason. So you're getting multiple videos uh, and stuff heading out or heading up to the clash. You're getting my projections and stuff. And then you're getting all the stuff that Sheets is doing as well uh, related, related to NASCAR when that stuff starts up. So... Uh, mainly just want to make this video that there's videos that I've already made that are going to be going up over the next couple of days. We have a NASCAR package and I'm just trying to let people know where I'm at, what I give, what I offer and everything of that nature. Since the, uh, a lot of people are leaving the space, uh, I'd like to try and take advantage and get as many of you guys over here as possible. So, uh, yeah, just a real quick update video and I will see you guys probably on Saturday or Sunday when I upload the first one or when the first one goes live and we're talking about why I look at certain tracks and come and uh, group them together why other people wouldn't and things of that nature so I'm looking forward to it. a lot of a lot of videos coming up I just want to make a quick update for you guys so I will see you guys then